Okay, I wasn't going to do this at first. At first, I was just going to process this news on my own and then just keep pushing and go about my normal day. But this right here, this needs to stop. I need to address it. Uh, you know, technically, this channel is all about TV related things, um, and this has nothing to do with TV per se. But right now, I am angry and I need to express this because trust me you will not like me when I'm angry yes I quoted the Hulk but you know what I'm really pissed right now so forget it okay so what is the topic I'm going to talk about right now um, you know you guys see the title you guys see the thumbnail okay so this kind of came to my attention a couple days ago, and it boiled over probably somewhere between uh, yesterday or the day before as of recording this video. And it has to do with, of course, the tragic death of Chadwick Boseman, the actor who played, of course, King T'Challa in Black Panther, Captain America Civil War, and Avengers Infinity War, and Endgame. Uh, he died after a four year long battle with colon cancer. This man was an absolute treasure, a true legend. The fact that even after being diagnosed, he did all of that just not only to ensure a legacy for himself, but to make sure that children for generations to come, you know, black children for generations to come, children of color, just children of minorities, they could see themselves as a king. They could see themselves with this sense of regality, honor, strength, you know, to show that, you know, no one is better than them, but they are also not better than anyone else, right? They can be the pinnacle. And, you know, that's what Black Panther teaches you as a character. That's what I've always loved about Black Panther. Um, if you can see my walls, you can see my room, my shelf up there with all my statues and figures. I am a massive comic book fan. I have been a comic book fan for most of if not my entire life since I was maybe four years old before I could even read a comic book I would just flip through my uncle's collection and look at the pictures and see all the cool fights and the powers and you know he would tell me oh this is spider-man he could do this this and that uh, this is what happened to him this is his origin story oh this this guy's Black Panther not only is he a superhero not only is he a scientist not only is he a genius, he is a king of an entire country with super cool technology. He, he's the one who made the Quinjets, he made Falcon's wings, all that was all him. And so ever since then, I have loved Black Panther. He is one of my favorite characters of all time. And so, you know, it was always a dream of mine to see Black Panther be brought to the silver screen especially when we finally got to see you know those heroes be done justice in movies like Iron Man I was like okay cool cool maybe one day we'll get Black Panther that would be so cool and eventually we did and you know Mr. Bozeman I will forever be grateful for that you know you checked off something on my bucket list man I got to see one of my all-time favorite characters be brought to life and you know like I said I'm gonna be eternally grateful for that now the reason I'm having this rant and video put out is because of of course you know he had this tragic passing and you know everyone rightfully so is mourning and grieving which is you know perfectly natural it's a big loss uh, you know he meant a lot to not only you know his friends and family of course but 
an entire community, an entire fandom. You know, he was a big part of it. Uh, but here is my issue, right? And I take this issue up with comic fans and superhero fans um, because... You know, I used to be a comic book reviewer. I used to very much be like deeply involved in the comic book community. But personally, I just some of these opinions and discourse like and how some fans handle it, I just I hated it. I hated it. Plus, just on a like a financial level, comics were too expensive for me to like constantly buy every week and make videos about because those videos didn't really get the views so I couldn't afford to buy more comics and so like you know it was just you know cheaper to switch over to a different medium to cover so I chose TV because that still involved you know comic book adaptations in some regard so anyway like I stepped away from the comic book community um, you know I, I left it to you know people that you know I know and care about and know that, you know, they take this seriously, but also are level-headed about it. You know, people like, you know, my bro, Chris the Mount Vernon Kid. Of course, uh, Kat, uh, Comic Uno. She's one of my best friends in terms of, uh, you know, people that I've met through YouTube and things like that. And, you know, she is an excellent writer, an excellent reviewer. Um, I trust, you know, her to be able to handle, you know, things like this with care um, and uh, the reason why I say I'm coming after comic fans with this one is because you know all throughout social media and I, I just I saw this like scrolling through Twitter and Facebook and literally this man as of recording this video has not even been dead a week this man hasn't even been dead a week he passed I believe it was on Friday where like the news broke that he passed and already by Saturday people were having discussions of who is going to be the next Black Panther you know uh, are they gonna kill him off or are they going to uh, you know have Shuri take over you know what's gonna happen with that what's gonna happen with that are they gonna do like a tribute to him in the beginning of the movie um, are they gonna use an infinity stone to bring Killmonger back Alright, here's the part of the video where I'm going to get fucking angry. Okay, so, I'm not stupid, right? I know it is important to keep the Black, uh, the Black Panther franchise alive. This movie is a pivotal part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it means a lot to the Black superhero culture. Of course it does. I know it's important. But seriously guys, come the fuck on. This man has not even been dead for a week and you are already talking about his replacement. What the fuck? What the fuck? You know what? For real, like no disrespect to Letitia Wright. I think Letitia Wright is great. I loved her portrayal of Shiri in the movies and you know, the cameo that she got you know, in Infinity War and Endgame. I thought, you know, she's great. She really does do that character justice. But I don't give a fuck if she becomes Black Panther right now. I don't give a fuck if it's Daniel Kaluuya's character. I don't give a fuck if it's Umbaku. Fucking, they bring back Andy Serkis and Andy Serkis's fucking claw becomes Black Panther. I don't, I mean, obviously that's not the case because he's white. But honestly, who gives a fuck who is going to be the next Black Panther? Black Panther's dead. The king is dead. Okay? Let us mourn. Let us grieve. Let us process. This is a fictional character. His role can wait. A real person died, you guys. A real person died. Who cares? Who cares about who's going to be the next Black Panther? We'll worry about that later. Let his family, his friends, and other fans 
mourn this loss. This is a big loss. You do not have any right to just be talking about this like he can just easily be replaced. Like, yes, the Shuri thing makes sense, and I, I do, you know, personally want to see that at some point, but we don't need to talk about that right now. We don't need to talk about that. Let's talk about his accomplishments, his achievements, you know, what he managed to do in such a short span of time. Let's honor him. Let's tribute him. Let's not talk about who is replacing him, okay? We don't need any of this right now. And I'm not bringing a race thing into this at all, but seriously though, when Heath Ledger passed away, right? He played the Joker in The Dark Knight, one of the most iconic performances in a superhero movie of all time. When he died, he got the Oscar, everyone was sad, everyone mourned it. Now granted, the circumstances of his death are completely different from Chadwick's. But when he died, you know, the first thing out of people's mouths wasn't, who's going to be the next Joker? Now, I, granted, he wasn't part of a, fran like a, like a franchise where he was going to be like a recurring villain and they were going to show him again and again and again. But no one said that about him when he died. But two days after the death of Chadwick Boseman, hell, not even a day. All over social media, the conversation is about who is going to be the next Black Panther. Who's going to be the next Black Panther? What's going to happen to the Black Panther franchise? Who gives a fuck right now? Who cares? A man is dead. A man is dead. He was taken away from his friends and family. Let's all deal with that first. And we can deal with the fictional character second okay I am a fan of the character I'm a fan of the actor and as much as I would you know as much as I really do want to see this franchise continue and I want to see you know this representation and the message that you know Chadwick was able to create with this role you know the world of Wakanda itself you know, how it was able to really, you know, take a step forward in terms of, you know, Hollywood. I appreciate that so much. And I owe a lot of that, you know, to him and, of course, the wonderful cast and crew behind Black Panther. But the franchise itself should come secondary to grieving and mourning the loss of an amazing talent, a legendary figure, someone who will go down in history as a game changer in Hollywood. Please, stop trying to replace Chadwick Boseman and just grieve. That's all I have to say. You see this? My voice is worn out from, like, yelling. I wasn't even yelling, yelling, but, like, God damn it, like... This just it frustrated me to no end, and I, I had to talk about it. Um, you know, if this is your first video of me that you're seeing, sorry, I promise you I'm not like this all the time. Um, normally, I just review TV shows and uh, talk about TV shows and TV news on this channel, uh, but this in particular was something that I just felt really impassioned about, and I had to, I had to go off for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I'll go ahead and just uh, call it here. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, in my outro card, I will leave linked uh, a video YouTube's Mysterious Algorithm thinks you might like, as well as uh, my latest upload, which is my review of this week's episode of Lovecraft Country, which is a show that I highly recommend you check out, especially you know if you're into uh, Jordan Peele's horror style uh, which is you know horror mixed with social commentary I definitely highly recommend checking out Lovecraft Country my review of that will be linked in the outro card um, as well as a video YouTube mysterious algorithm things you might like so uh, all right uh, until next time you guys this is Jay from TV time with Jay and I'll catch you guys later Wakanda forever RIP Chadwick Boseman hail to the king peace